Stay tuned for a physical media review with your host, Grim Grindle. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome to another episode of Physical Media Review. The Simpsons has an amazing cast of characters, and it even has an amazing cast of secondary characters. However, that said, there is a few secondary characters that are so very secondary that I couldn't ever imagine them being successful with their own spin-offs. This is practically what was running through my head when I was at the local comic book store the other day and saw on the shelf Jimbo Jones issue 1. Jimbo Jones is a very two-dimensional character, pun intended, who has not exactly had much character exploration throughout the Simpsons series. He's not like a poo or Krusty the Clown who we've had entire episodes exploring. He has, for the most part, stayed as a background character. And aside from just being a generic bully character, and occasionally having jokes about his mum being told, he's not exactly much of a character at all. So when I saw the comic book on the shelf, I thought that it had to be an absolute train wreck. And it was an absolute train wreck that I just had to have a look at myself. The cover itself doesn't do a great deal to dispute this claim, because all it has on it is Jimbo being a bully, which is one of his only two character traits, the other one being that his mum is occasionally made fun of, so it looked as if this comic wouldn't be doing anything unexpected. However, as the saying goes, you should never judge a comic book by its comic book cover, because Jimbo Jones issue 1 is, I have to say, probably the funniest and most enjoyable Simpson comic I have read in an extremely long time. The comic consists of several different stories, the first of which being Escape from New Springfield, which is a slightly Judge Dredd inspired, absolutely artistically beautiful and overall thoroughly enjoyable story. It includes genuinely funny lines and genuinely surprising twists. It depicts a dystopian Springfield in which Jimbo Jones has to infiltrate Springfield Elementary School which has become a prison to overthrow Bart Simpson who has overthrown it. I won't go any further into the story than that because I'm already bordering on giving out spoilers. But the comic is worth a purchase for this story alone. It then has a one page little joke called What's Under Jimbo's Cap which has several different Simpson characters trying to guess what's under Jimbo's cap. When I was reading through this the first time I thought it was actually sort of stupid because in the very previous comic you had just seen Jimbo several times without his cap. However as the comic went on this actually got tied together a little bit better in other stories and turned out to be actually quite humorous so I forgive it for its slight inconsistency. The next part of the comic is picking fights and wronging rights, it's Bully Man. Which is exactly what you'd expect it to be. It looks like a superhero, but it's actually a bully. Who's the superhero to bullies? It's sort of very lame and clearly just a page filler, but you know what? I'm glad it's there, even though it's not that good. If you were going to buy this comic, you wouldn't be buying it for this two-page throwaway gag anyway. So as an extra, it's alright. And then the final comic inside the covers of Jimbo Jones issue 1 is Inside Man. It starts with Jimbo Jones in a jail cell, with Chief Wiggum offering him a way out. This is almost the exact same premise of the first comic, however it's made okay because the comic draws attention to this fact and makes a little bit of a joke out of it. This story actually surprised me greatly. It looked like it was going to go in a very predictable direction and it could have very easily gone that way. However, Jimbo made a different decision than I was expecting him to, and it actually made him quite a bit more of a likeable character. I said the first story in this comic makes it worth buying, however it's the last comic that really makes it great. Jimbo Jones is, as I said in the beginning, a very unexplored character, and they could have just done predictable things with this comic and gotten away with it, because it is after all for children, and they wouldn't have really paid much attention. However, they've taken the opportunity in Inside Man to actually explore and further flesh out the character. So while the comics aren't exactly canon in the Simpsons universe, they've really managed to add something to the character that had previously not been there. As I said at the start of this video, I had no real interest in a Jimbo Jones comic and just wanted to see how badly it failed. But I have to admit this was a very well done comic. And I am slightly disappointed that this is one of the Simpsons one-off comics and he's not going to have a continued comic line because I would continue to read comics that did continue to flesh out Jimbo Jones as a character like this one has. As I stated earlier, Inside Man is the last story within the comics covers. However, it does actually give you an extra comic on the back of the cover 
So this issue is more than a cover to cover. On the back it has Candy Crush, which I'm pretty sure is a copyright infringement, but let's just not tell anyone. It's only a little short, but it's also quite funny. Then, as far as extras go within the comic covers, we have the Bongo Beat San Diego Comic Con by Nathan Kane, which is just a little bit of a story about what The Simpsons did at the Comic Con this year, in 2015, which I found quite enjoyable because, being in Australia, I couldn't get to the San Diego Comic Con, so it was nice to see what's going on. And in the inside, they have a Jimbo Jones skull sticker, you know, like the one on his shirt. Although he expressly warns you not to put it on the shirt, otherwise he's gonna wail on you. Overall, Jimbo Jones Issue 1 is an absolutely fantastically enjoyable comic which took me by absolute surprise. I highly suggest you head down to your local comic book store and pick it up while it's still on the shelves. Thanks for watching. I have been and still am Grim Grindle.